Carrie. I'm Elena. It's been a while since we've been here, but we're back. We've been here. Oh yeah, well yeah, you're we're right. around. We're at Plunge Restaurant. I'm getting some cauliflower curry. She's getting though. cauliflower curry, which mm. is dairy free. It's dairy free, soy free, and gluten free. And it's amazing. Okay, so I was thinking that we should just kind of keep local for a little while as far as restaurants go. So there's. We live in Long Beach, and there's a lot of restaurants here. Yeah, and there's... Somebody that. just said, for every restaurant that closes down, two more open. And that's kind of true. That is. And I think that some of these restaurants would be nice if we visited before they got shut down. Well, and then also on 2nd and PCH, they're opening. They're not open yet, but there's uh, two or three vegan spots that are opening up in there that we definitely should try. Yeah. Because I think that... Um, and, and a lot of them are gluten-free. I know most of the ones I checked out that are opening are all gluten-free. I just have to check, double check with the oil. And, you know, so we'll definitely have to hit those places up soon. So that's yeah, just we, like a quick we summary like of our New Orleans We pretty trip. much walked all over the French Quarter, like, and we did a little cool, like, tour. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Cemetery tour. If you get a chance, you should definitely do that. Also, her and I did have a little bit of issue eating in New Orleans too. That was a big challenge for us yeah. too. Challenge for yeah. us too. New Orleans was fun and yeah. I did get a couple of recommendations. Uh, we ate at the Green Goddess. That was sucky for me. It was sucky for her but I thought it was delicious. No. It was, it was an oil situation, right? Yes. Because I remember I had some like fried mushrooms that were delicious and you could taste those. Because of the soybean oil. Soybean oil. But it was good and then we ended up in the French market quite a bit because we were eating Beyond products. Yeah, like just to get like a hearty meal. Yeah, and the, I mean there was times when I would go grab like yogurt or string cheese or something and try to walk around the French Quarter all damn day until finally at like eight o'clock at night I was like I need food or I'm going to die. And I could have gone to the store because we had an Airbnb and made food, but I wasn't about that life. We weren't. We didn't go to New Orleans so that we could be at home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but thankfully, we did have a few places that we could go to. And I mean, hey, we gotta it, do it, it, gotta it got to the point where we had to just go back to where we knew we could eat. Yeah. Which was the French market. And that one. The, and thankfully, the true. Um, we'll just plug them. French, French market. market. There was meals for the heart. Yeah. Is that what it's called? I, yeah, I think you're right. And then the crepe place was. All, she was all about that. She loved that crepe. Yeah, place. they had the gluten free, but the Milk batter soy. had soy in it. And then my heart broke, and so I don't remember pieces. what it was called though. Crepe. I don't know. Well, you might have to look that oh, up. Yeah, and, sorry and, about that. But there's also I'll, True I'll, Kitchen I'll put it down below. True Kitchen is that where we ate that one night? That was with yeah. the great, amazing gluten free pita we had. Where you and then I had that beet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That place. So that's a chain that exists in LA too. Yeah. But that's there. So we should have went there more, but it was a little bit pricey. So we kind yeah, of. It cost us a million dollars to eat there. So we only went once. One million. And then the pizza place was a. Uh, was it New York Pizza? Oh, Magazine oh, Pizza. Oh, Magazine Pizza. We ate at Magazine Pizza because we were staying on Magazine. And that was really good. They did try to kill me on I accident was one night. <laughs> <laughs> they did try to kill me on accident one night. On your anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was fine. You were, it was you were an dead on your anniversary. Were you dead inside? I didn't have to speak to anybody's manager. They just made me a new pizza. So I got to give them, you know, 100 points. <laughs> I, oh, we else? had a great time. We, in we had a lot of fun. Oh, uh. Um, we couldn't eat the beignets, but you know we had we had somebody that were able to eat them. So Cafe Dumont was a place. Yeah, it was there for the coffee. <laughs> Their coffee is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Their coffee is amazing. Did we eat? Um, a, um, we we won't even talk about food anymore in um, New Orleans. It was a challenge, but we, we had a lot of fun. We did. Have we some hung fun. out on Frenchman Street a lot. Amazing um, music. So, what are those places? Apple Barrel. Apple Bar Barrel. The Spotted um, Cat Cafe. Yes. Um, what's the Cafe one? Cafe Negril. Negril, yes. Negril, yes. We went there a lot. I felt like I was in a... T yeah, I, I was being stuck between three places. I just... You were having a good time. <laughs> I, was I was having a good time. you from the place across <laughs> Yeah. Mississippi. She spent a lot of time on the Mississippi. She loved the Mississippi. I felt like Mark Twain. Yeah. Yeah, so we won't be coming back um, doing shows 
as frequently as we were before. We'll probably be doing them once a month, maybe with a couple of live broadcasts here and there. Okay. Something like that. Sounds good to me. But bringing you a show once a month will give us a chance to like really get our material together and figure out you know, production a little more smoothly than we were before. I'm still going to be crazy though. After New Year's, we'll probably be when we drop our next episode. Okay. So Sounds like a plan. We'll probably be on a diet. Yeah, because it's going to be... I, it gets crazy during the holidays. I was eating a lot of um, not foods that I would normally eat when we were to eat out every week. Yeah, or just vodka all the time. I mean, I could have done that. Yeah. I try to do that, but then that doesn't work out for me. Sorry that this episode isn't like adventurous and exciting, but yeah, um, maybe she'll throw some pictures of her trip in your, to uh, your I will definitely neck. drop some pictures in the credits. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, Does that work. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you after the new year. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy and Yule. I was, that's funny. I was just gonna say that too. We'll see you next year. In see you next year. One, see you next year, bitches. No. <laughs> see you in 2020. I hope everybody has an amazing holiday. Make sure you to uh, set your time machines back to when it was. I think we should have a 2020 party. Like Remember we all when it was the year 2000 and everybody was like, like stopping up. Yeah, because we thought the Y2K was gonna happen and we we're all gonna die. <laughs> but I think we should have a. I flapper. really don't know what that was about. I don't. I don't know. People. I. I, I just went along with it. Like, oh yeah, like we should totally party. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but we we should have a 2020 like a flapper party because like, you know to bring back the 20s. That sounds fun. That would be fun. Huh? Let's go party. All right. All right. See you next year. See you next year. Bye.